say you're playing on a multiplayer server, and you see a little house like this. Someone's been stupid enough to leave a pressure plate right there at the door. You think, wow, that's uh, pretty dumb, because I can just walk right in, even if it's a protected chunk. Okay, it's a double door system, no big deal, just wait for the second door. Oh no! Okay, so that, um, was not expecting that. Here we are back inside our own house. Now, of course, on most of these servers with protected chunks, you do have a slash home feature, so you don't really need your own special way in. So don't fall for those traps where you see a little pressure plate and you want to just walk right into the house. Now, what I did there was I made a trap door. So it only works going from one direction. If I go from the other direction, you can see I'm completely fine. But if you go from this direction, you'll see if I hold down the pressure plate for long enough, that trap door opens and you plummet to your death. Here's the whole system unmasked. I've, gave it, I've given it a glass bottom or top, I guess, so that you can see it. And I'll just go step by step to what it does. Now this is the front entrance because anyone who's anyone on a Minecraft server has a gold walk-up. So, of course, you have your pressure plate. When you step on the pressure plate, it activates a redstone power supply that one piece of it goes to the right and goes to this OR gate. What that means is that if either one of these redstone lines is activated, the door will open. So what happens is it activates one of the redstone lines and the door opens. That's pretty simple. The other part, it goes through a delay, and the delay goes around and around. It's pretty long. You can make the delay as long as you want, but you want to keep it pretty short because you don't want someone to realize something's fishy and teleport out. So the delay is about five, six seconds here. I think it's six seconds. And when you step on the pressure plate, the signal goes around and for six seconds, and then it opens. On the other side, we have another pressure plate, and this would be to get out of your house. Now, of course, you could always teleport back in, so you don't need another in entrance. But an out entrance would be important. So as you can see, when I step on the pressure plate, you'll notice that both doors open, but then they stay open for a pretty long period of time. How do I do that? Well, the signal to the right goes to this redstone signal extender. When that means, uh, what that means is that it just simply extends the signal to redstone. So what you can see here, uh, is the redstone line it gets sent into this block which powers this redstone but also powers this repeater which powers this block which continues to power this redstone goes around powers this block continues to power this redstone goes around and goes up into the same torch that is activated by the signal going to the left what does that do well it keeps on a continu a continuous stream of a this first door being open but also it activates that same OR gate over here. So this signal turns on, and again, since it's an OR gate, it'll open this piston door, and you will be safe and not have to worry about falling in the trap door. I'm going to go through it very slowly so that you can see exactly what you need to do so that you can make it for yourself. There's nothing hidden here behind this glass. Everything is where it needs to be. Now, of course, you'd want to case this in some obsidian so that nobody can cannon blow it up. But this is all you have to do. This is the this is the uh, delay before the trap door opens, and now we're back to the front. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you uh, don't end up fooling me on, on a server with a trap door like this. But I'm Toby. And I will try and attack this house again. Ah! Uh, whoop. I'm stuck. Whoa! Alright.